CBS, the bold and the beautiful, revealed that Sheila made an appointment with Finn to talk. This time, Sheila was completely serious, and she really wanted to see Finn. Naturally, Finn's first reaction was to refuse Sheila's request. Sheila caused a lot of trouble for his family. He hates Sheila for wrongdoing, and he doesn't hope to see his mother again. But Sheila's attitude is so sincere. She tells Finn that she will be leaving Los Angeles soon. She will never disturb Finn's life again. Finn finally agrees to meet Sheila. However, he will hide Steffi because he knows that Steffi will be angry if he finds out. Steffi really hates Sheila. She almost died under Sheila's shot. So Steffi can't wait to send Sheila to prison. Finn understands Steffi's feelings, but no matter what Sheila does, the fact that she is Finn's biological mother cannot be changed. Sheila and Finn met at a small coffee shop. Finn tried to sneak away so Steffi wouldn't notice. Sheila tells Finn that she will soon leave Los Angeles and never return here again. Sheila will go to the city of Genoa and settle there. Sheila also apologizes to Finn for what she did. Now before leaving, Sheila has only one small witch, which is to go out with Hayes. Sheila begs Finn to bring Hayes to her, after which Sheila will accompany Hayes to the amusement park. It will be a beautiful memory for Sheila to have Hayes by her side. Finn thinks Sheila is lying to him to see Hayes, but Sheila shows Finn the plane ticket. Finn took it to confirm that it was indeed a flight to Genoa and that the buyer was Sheila. Finn is a bit regretful that Sheila will be leaving here forever. Will he allow Hayes to see Sheila again? Elsewhere, Zenday will go to Thomas and ask him for a new idea for the Hope for the Future line. Zenday is also a designer, but his experience is not equal to that of Thomas. Plus, Thomas has been involved in this project before, so he's the one who knows it best. Thomas will surely have great ideas to bring this project to life. Time was so urgent that Zenday had to go to the place to find Thomas. Thomas is currently still without a new job after he was fired from Forster Creation. Thomas caused some trouble to anger Ridge. Sende is also afraid that Thomas will resent him for not helping him, but Thomas paid no attention to what he had happened. Hope for the future is also his passion. He didn't want to see it fall. Thomas happily helps Sende with his collection. Thomas hopes that with his help, Sende will solve the problem.